Let's see if a Jetson can work directly on this screen. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so yes, we are going to do a live demo. <laughs> Hello everyone. I hope I hope you are happy today because you're gonna have something like this soon with you. <laughs> the little Jetson Nano. So this is the Jetson Ori Nano and I hope you all fall in love with this like I did years ago. So six years ago, not with the Nano, I had the Jetson Orin not not Orin, the Jetson NX. I I was working at IBM Quantum in New York, but during my weekends, I usually play with these devices, yes? So OpenAI launched a model. It was a GPT-2 model with 170 million parameters, and I tried to fit it in a very small device. So I put the model inside a Jetson NX, and I wanted to share it with the world. So basically, I set up a web server with a chat interface to chat with the GPT. So probably, I don't know, but probably this was the first that GPT-like interface in the world, having face, came with something similar two weeks after that. But the first one was running on a Jetson, so that's surprising. So be ready to run all the state-of-the-art GNAI models you want, because this device is really awesome, and I will show you why. So now it's not only the Nano. Now it's the Nano Super. So after some months, uh, testing everything that is working perfectly, we wanted to push more the limits, okay? So we increased the performance of the device from 40, 40 trillion operations per second to 67 trillion operations per second. So and the memory bandwidth from 68 to 102 gigabytes per second. So basically it's almost twice of the performance in the same size. And it's working perfectly, super stable, no hot temperatures, it's really, really stable. The only thing is that we are operating now 25, 25 watts, which is nothing, less than any light on this room. Oh, these are very powerful, but <laughs> maybe one second, in your, one second in your elevator is like, like this, right? 24, 25 watts. You can always move to the, to the 50, 15 watts model, or you can also move to the 7 watts mode, uh, which is uh, low power consumption. So basically we did this by increasing the frequency of the GPU cores and the CPU core. So yes, we, we like to accelerate things at, at NVIDIA. But the question is, can this small embedded device run state-of-the-art GNAI models like Yama 3? Of course, yes, and uh, when you have this device, try to join, try to enter into the generative, uh, we have the, the page is called NVIDIA Jetson AI Lab, which is plenty of GNAI examples. So you will be able to learn step-by-step, step, super easy to follow, how to generate text, how to generate images, how to understand images. Gemma will be there soon. Also, we will have a tutorial about Gemma. And if you create something by yourself, you can reach to us because we have something called the research group. And usually we present on YouTube. We have like meetings. Uh, we have some like, uh, yes, like video meetings with researchers where they expose, where they show what they are uh, doing with Jetson. We have yeah, plenty of them. So check this uh, website after you have this device. But now, let's imagine you haven't seen a Jetson before, and you want to start from scratch. So how is it to, to do this from scratch, OK? So let's imagine at the end of the event, you have a Gemma Swag bag, and inside, maybe, you have a box with a Jetson, right? So the box will be something like this. This is the box, so you need to open it, of course. <laughs> and inside, you will have the Jetson, of course, the instruction manual that no one reads, and then you will have the, the power cord. And of course, if you want to work with big models, you will need to install for sure uh, like a big uh, SSD. In this case, I'm putting a two terabytes uh, SSD here. And then you need to plug the, the power cord to the computer, at, to the Jetson, and then the USB-C to your uh, Ubuntu computer. Why? Because there, you need to install SD SDK Manager, and the SDK Manager will flash the device very easily. You need to put it first in the recovery mode, which you need to like connect two of the of the pins. It's super easy. You, you disconnect the typical hack thing, you know? You can connect one thing, the other, and then it's detected magically. So then you click next, next, next. You need to choose that you want to install the, operati the operative system on the uh, external drive, so MBME in this case. And magically, after 
30 minutes, one hour, it takes some time to so have a coffee. In the meantime, you will have the operating system installed. Then you need to connect this to an external um, monitor or on a keyboard. I have a device that is like a laptop. It's not a laptop. It's a, like a screen with, with a keyboard, right? And I have also like an external uh, battery that you, you can use an external battery or you can connect it directly to the, to the power. And there it is. Uh, you will have Ubuntu, in this case, Jetpack. And inside, you can start doing the you know, APT upgrade, APT update, everything, and it's ready to, to rock. So it's quite easy. You connect it, you flash it, and that's it. And now, we are in the Gemma 3 event, so we are, gonna, we are going to introduce how Gemma 3 run in this device. And this is very interesting. These devices, not only the Nano, also the AEX family, so the Orin family, the AEX, for example, is really interesting because, as you have seen, Gemma 3 is competing with models that require a lot of hardware. So, for example, DeepSeek now here is requiring like four of these uh, devices. Uh, it's, I think it's like 32 NVIDIA H100. While Gemma 3 fits, of course, slower. Yes, you, you need an H100 to run it faster, but it fits uh, on a Jetson AEX on him. So, it is amazing how easy it is for students, researchers, to, te to test these devices at home. And, and then you can deploy it to the cloud if you need it. So it's quite amazing. So today's demo, okay? So I got access to the tools today in the morning, okay? So this is an external battery. Now it's connected to the Nano. And at the end, I will connect it to the HDMI to do the demo live. So let's this little device starts working here. In the meantime, tick, tick. Okay, so basically I was doing a detection of an image. I'm gonna connect it directly to the HDMI. AI. So I have something here hidden, which is a HDMI AI converter cable. Let's see if a Jetson can work directly on this screen. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so yes, we are gonna do a live demo. <laughs> okay. So now we have the Jetson here connected. I'm gonna run, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I need not a table, but I'm gonna do it like this. So I'm gonna open a terminal, I'm gonna make it bigger so I can read it too. And right now I'm gonna launch, um, I, I'm gonna launch directly Olama, which I installed this morning. Yema 3, 4 billion parameters demo, okay. And let's see what happens. Sometimes I need to increase the swap, the swap memory, okay? Let's see this time. Because this device, it has only eight gigabits of memory, okay? Yes, don't worry about that. So I have a script for that. It's super easy to do it. So the one million parameters works directly like this. So I have this script, which is the swap. And this is going to increase the swap memory to 16 gigabytes. My password. Now, oh, yes. This is going to increase the memory to 16 gigabytes. It's going to take maybe 20 seconds to do it. It's allocating memory, little by little. And I have some images here. So. What I did before, I was walking around, I went to the coffee area, and I took a picture of myself with some smart glasses holding a tangerine and a banana, okay? So I'm gonna ask questions about that image. So now, let's run Olama. So, new model, released this morning on a new device, live demo, everything could go wrong. So, but it's working, yeah? Well, let's see, but yeah. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna move this device a bit here so I can type. Oops, stay there, stay there, yeah. Okay, so, oops, don't fall, not yet, so don't fall, yeah. Okay, now, stable. Okay, so what, oops, here. Okay, what am I holding on my left or right? Okay, left, oops, yeah, left, hand. Okay, and now I'm gonna drag and drop the image here of the fruits. 
So these fruits are available there in the coffee table. You have a break after this, so you can grab them. <laughs> okay, see, yes, this is the picture. This message is normal, okay? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and you can, you, can, you can skip it. So, left hand. <laughs> okay, maybe it was the right, but let's see. <laughs> but let's see if I understand the context. Because it could be a, a selfie, right? So you can have the mirror effect. An orange. Well, it's a tangerine, but it's okay. You can try again. I promise in my demo it was right. <laughs> but this is better, so you can see the, the, the thing uh, live. So also I can say, like, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this one again, and I'm going to launch it. I'm going to say, what time is my session, for example? So what time is my Jetson session? And I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move here. I'm going to throw the timetable. So if you see the yet zone is 335, okay? So let's see how Yema reads the text. Good, 335. So <laughs> this is this is quite interesting for a model that is using a BLM and uh, not an OCR to, to recognize the text. So this is, this is quite amazing. And um, let's do something else like the typical cat's image, like describe. I'm going to close it anyway. Do, 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 do. I prefer to close. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. I'm going to launch it again. And I'm going to throw directly an image of the cat and kitten, like typical random image from the internet. Describe it. Oops, yeah, maybe the Bluetooth, yeah. Describe. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Meet a mother cat and her newborn kitten, yes. So if you want to see the image, it was something like this. Yeah. Oh. So. So yes, Gemma for billion parameters is working very well. And also, if we want to see the, um, let, let's see now the performance. So I'm going like, to run it with the verbose command. So we can see, oops, verbose. Uh, I'm going to throw directly the image of the, the entrance of the event without saying anything. And we will see the performance in tokens per second which is really fast, I think, for a 4 billion parameters. Yeah, Gemma Developer Day. The details. Printed in white. This is quite fast. So you can imagine this is a very affordable device that you can have offline on a anywhere, an industrial factory, whatever. So almost 14, yes, 13, 14 tokens per second. Bef before I go, like 15, but it's something like that. So yes, I'm quite impressed about this uh, model. We can go back to the presentation probably now. So the presentation forced me to do the live demo. This was uh, not an option, but now it was uh, a requirement. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go back to the to the plan to the A plan. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to show you something. This, this is going to work, by the way. This is about voice. So I encourage you to do something with voice, with Yema. So this was an example I did with Yema 2 using voice and RAG. So and, uh, you have the code on GitHub. I will share with you the link after. But this is an example where you can speak directly with the model, and the model will reply to you. I did this with Gemma too, of course, because I didn't have the time to do it this morning. <laughs> but uh, this works, and it's super easy to adapt it to Gemma 3. And it is using RAG, so you can add a dictionary, uh, documents, whatever you want. Let me know if you have any other questions. I want to go and eat some sushi in Tokyo. 
That sounds delicious. Would you like me to help you find a good sushi restaurant in Tokyo? I want to know more about the Jetson Nano and how can it be integrated with Google? The Jetson Nano is a great device for Edge AI. You can integrate it with Google's AI platform via APIs and SDKs. For more details, check out the NVIDIA Jetson documentation and Google's AI platform documentation. Okay, so that was a quick example, and th this was made in like less than 200 lines of code, so very easy to make with this with Python. And what about AI agents? Can you run AI agents on a Jetson Nano? So yes, I did an example uh, with Gemma 2, this works again, but I encourage you to do the same with Gemma 3. And I was using the 2 billion parameters model for each one. So I put two different agents speaking each other with different personalities, and I put them to speak during the night. And it was quite interesting. I did this example with Lama CPP. So I created a Lama CPP server in one port, a different Lama CPP server in, a, in server in a different port, and I connected each other with different personalities. And it was quite interesting because it is like a podcast. So you can read the podcast or even probably hear the podcast in the morning. Uh, and this podcast is happening in this small device while you sleep. So it's quite interesting. So years ago, this was like, like magic. And then, yes, and then there is a generated HTML uh, with both um, YMAS speaking, in this case with the two, and I encourage you to do it with the three. Okay, and this is also interesting. So 12 billion parameters model, I tested, it works on the nano, super slow, super, you need to have patience, but the, the jokes are really good. So I ask it like, yeah. So I asked, tell me a joke about the 12 billion parameter Gemma model that fits on the Jetson Nano. And it's, why did the 12 billion Gemma model on the Jetson Nano start wearing a tiny backpack? Because it was carrying all its weights and still needed room for the operating system. <laughs> so, and a, and a joke about the RAM also. So it's really good. So if you, don't, if you, are, you have time and you want to do inference for long times, <laughs> you can test the 12 billion parameters. I encourage you to test the 27 billion parameters. I haven't had the time. Probably I could not have that time because probably it could take like a day. But you should test it. Maybe it works on the nano. It should. You need just to increase the, the swap memory by a lot. That's it. So yes, we love developers. So we would love to hear about what you're building. So please reach us to us. And if you record the video or you do a live demo like this one, send, send that demo to us. And we would like to, to help you. We would like to give you some exposure or invite you to, to come to the research lab, to the Jetson Research Lab to tell us your, your story. So yes, ping me later during the break. This is, this is my yeah, LinkedIn or address. You can contact me. Feel free to contact me. And I will try to help you as much as possible. See you there. Bye. <laughs>